In this video I'm going to show you how you can customize your online directory for your parents when they log in. We can create sponsor ads to help us defer the cost of our online directory as well as information and notices for when the families log in. What I'm sh showing you right now is uh, some things that I already have set up. I have um, <clears throat> a welcome message. I've also even embedded the Google Calendar. If your school uses Google Calendar, this is really handy. So now I'm going to go and show you how you can customize this or change this. You do that by going on in our um, menu in Administration, go to Online Directory, and go to Setup. We have two tabs. We have a Home Message and Contact, and we have a logo. I don't have a logo yet, so let's go ahead and add a logo. Now you will be uploading a logo from your computer. It will ask you to select a file. Give some thought to the file size for this. We do limit you to one meg, but um, <clears throat> recommendation I would give you is to, to make it much smaller because when you're on the internet and you're loading pictures, every size, the larger the size, the longer it takes to load that page. So always be conscious of that when you're selecting a, a photo. This one happens to be very small. As you can see, it's only 4.61 KB. I actually personally like to keep them under 10, and um, that's what I would recommend. So let's go ahead and put this one as our logo. And as you saw, I just simply upload, I hit Save, Selected, and Saved. Now in the home message, what you saw, it said proudly sponsored by Jane Realty. So some of our schools say, hey, I'm going to get a sponsor who's going to pay for the whole thing. So when uh, parents log in, again, they see uh, this message. Also, you'll see this is an iframe. There's a, another video that shows you how to get this uh, Google Calendar and put this here. But this block is all HTML. So you can put whatever you want. You can format the text the way you want. And again, there's another video that will show you how to really customize and use the power of this tool, uh, this window, to really give you some nice text and formatting. But I want to go ahead and put in some other information. Um, All kinds of things you could put here. You can link to other documents or, or other things outside of your system. Put in the text. I click Save, and I say OK, and my message was saved. Now let's go back to our directory and take a look. If I refresh this, notice I'm in another window, another browser, so it makes it really handy for me to go back and forth to see what it looks like. We see we've got our logo there that we uploaded, proudly sponsored, and again we see the Google Calendar. So it's really simple to customize this space. This is your space for your school, so this landing space is all yours. Now one other thing that people like to do is add sponsors. Sponsors will appear on this right hand column. So let's go ahead and add a sponsor. And again I go back to the administration and click on sponsor ads. And it says I don't have any yet, so I'll go ahead and add one. <clears throat> the components of a sponsor ad would be the company name and the title. And some text that would appear below the title. The title will be in bold. Let's say they give a 10% discount on four to all school families. Their link, notice I'm putting in the entire link. And you can put an email address. This is very handy for those realtors or folks that don't have their own website. Um, and they still want people to contact them. Now we can put the order that we want the ad to appear. So let's say this is the, the primary sponsor and you won't always want to be the, them to be at the top. Do you want them on the home page and the detail pages? That is their home page when you log in as well as the detail pages. We consider detail pages the pages for searching and modifying data. And then date, start, and expiration. So when will this start and when this um, ad will expire? Let's give it a year. This is really handy if you want to rotate ads. 
uh, have different ads start and stop at different times, maybe move the order. Um, also, folks may want to give you multiple ads. You may um, be able to sell multiple ads for one organization or one company. And then you can just set it up and forget it. The system will run this ad on uh, May 1st and it will stop running it on May 24th of next year. I just saved and now you see it here. You can also add a logo for the ad. So let's go back to the directory again and we'll refresh. And now you'll see how that ad that we put in, buy, or ti buy tires from us for Joe's Tires, now displays. If you click on the link, it'll open up a new browser window and go directly to that organization's website. Many folks use this not only for ads, let's say you've decided not to sell ads, you could also use this to link to your school's uh, website, maybe flyers, um, anything else that's on the internet you can link to with this space. So again, this is your sponsor space, but you can also use it for other things to customize your directory.